before Congress about anti-Semitism on campus. Harvard's President Claudine Gay also being criticized for this response. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. That Congresswoman, Republican Elise Stefanik, tweeted after the resignation at UPenn, one down, two to go, referencing the leaders at Harvard and MIT. Harvard's president did later apologize, writing in part on X, let me be clear, calls for violence or genocide against the Jewish community or any religious or ethnic group are vile. They have no place at Harvard, and those who threaten our Jewish students will be held to account. But that hasn't quieted her critics, including the billionaire alumnus Bill Ackman, who is actively pushing for her resignation. Jonathan Greenblatt is CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. Is ADL calling for these leaders to resign? I think ADL is saying we want action. And if the presidents prepare clear and well-developed plans to their boards, demonstrate how they are prepared to take real, immediate steps, I think that might allay many of the concerns. Universities across the country have faced mounting criticism over their response to the war. Some Jewish and Muslim students say too little is being done to protect them. It's important for people to understand that we're all in it together and everyone is hurt and everyone feels, yeah, quite disturbed by, I mean, this um, situation. Dana Griffin. Yeah, so let's be clear. This whole people screaming anti-Semitism doesn't mean anything, right? Anti the word anti, it doesn't really mean anything anymore because, and the real, the 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 whole these people screaming anti-Semite is just a Nazi rallying cry, right? It's a a Nazi rally cry. You know what I mean? That's what that's when you hear anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism. That's what it is. It's just a Nazi rallying cry. Like, they're, they're screaming out to the Nazis to rally the troops. It doesn't mean anything. You see? And here's why. The reason why it doesn't mean anything is because the real definition of anti-Semite, first of all, is a, a non-white person. Right? A Semite is a, uh, I'm sorry, a Semite is a non uh, The definition, if you read and study where a Semite is, and you know what a Semite is, you know that a Semite is an Afro-Asiatic person, right? Now, when you look at, let's say, Benjamin Netanyahu, the leader of, of Israel, does that, is that an Afro-Asiatic person? Not at all, right? When you look at uh, Ivanka Trump's, Trump's husband, Jared Kushner, is he an Afro-Asiatic person? Not at all, you see? And they will tell you that Afro-Asiatic people can't be Semites. They'll tell you the opposite. See, that's the Satanism, right? The devil, the Antichrist, whatever up is down and down is up. That's the Antichrist. That's, the Satan. that's how you know you're dealing with the Antichrist and his soldiers and his foot soldiers and his people, right? They're going to tell you down is up, up is down, and that's, you know, I'm white and I say so. You see, and or they'll say like I'm white and I'm a Semite. Well, I mean you whiter than Casper the Ghost. How could you be a Semite? You see, how could you be a Semite? Where's your family from? Let me see who's your who's your father and your grandfather, right? Let me let me you know we'll, we'll give you a benefit of the doubt because you got some pale Semites, right? For instance, uh, Helen Thomas. Who was the first female uh, press secretary? Press, uh, I think press secretary or some press something, some at the White House, right? She's an Arab. She's very light, but she's a Semite, right? For instance, um, Drake's son, right? Adonis. He would be considered a Semite. Why? Because of his father. You see, but he's very light. Has kind of like almost blondish hair, brown hair. But, but because his father, who his father and his grandfather is, Drake's son would be considered a Semite. So you have, you know, and a lot of Arabs you might see would be considered Semites. And they, but they're very light skinned. You see? So 
but generally once you look back in the at their lineage it, it goes back to North Africa you see Afro Asiatic peoples languages cultures etc right that's a Semite so when you see these people screaming Semite some of these like basically these you know pale people who come from like Russia or Germany or England or Germany or New York or you know wherever the fuck they from right screaming Semite it doesn't mean anything it's just a Nazi rally cry right that's all it is in, in its current iteration of the word Semite and because and basically it's just like I'm, I'm white and I say so right so I can just make up you know I'll, I'll make up whatever I want I'll say up is down and down is up and then you can't say anything because if you do I'll say I'll scream anti-Semite right and then all of a sudden here comes all the Nazis out of the US Congress out of you know out of Israel out of Kansas out of Germany wherever the fuck they at right they come out the wall these Nazis come out the woodwork anti-semite anti-semite boom here they come here they come and I make you know like a come a noise when people just running <laughs> I don't know how to make a noise right and here they come right they're coming after the people in Harvard right they have they coming after them getting them fired they're coming after Kanye anti-semite 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 uh, uh, Kyrie Irving Kanye West right Nick Cannon Harvard well you know wherever just start screaming anti-Semite and then you notice here, here all these people come here come Joe Biden Joe Biden didn't, didn't he used to hang out with the KKK and he wanted segregation for black people Joe Biden is fighting anti-Semitism that's, that's hilarious right he's he, you know the United States is fighting anti-Semitism these people in Congress screaming they, they, they looking for the anti-Semites they are the anti-Semites. See? Satan, the Antichrist, up is down and down is up. Right? But they'll tell you they're looking for anti-Semites. No, that's... The whole thing's been flipped on its head. And when you hear these people, it doesn't mean anything. Right? It doesn't mean... Or, should I say, it doesn't mean what it's supposed to mean. It's a Nazi rally cry. They just start screaming that. Right? I'll shut your channel down. You're an anti it's anti semitic it's hate speech. Right? Like YouTube. It's hate speech. Right? Hate speech. Right? Telling the truth is hate speech to the to YouTube, right? And to these people. You tell them the truth and say you're not a Semite. Oh anti that's anti Semitic. No, no, I'm just telling you the truth. Oh yeah, that's anti Semitic anti Semite. Anti Semite anti and then here comes, you know. YouTube, and here comes, you know, all the Nazis in America and the Nazis all around the world, right? With they, you know, putting their cape, their Nazi capes on, with their Nazi flags, you know, running down the block, right? So, yeah, I, I'm not gonna belabor that point, but yeah, it when you hear the, when you hear anti-Semite nowadays, it doesn't mean anything except. It's just a Nazi. They're trying to rally the Nazis. It's cold for. It's like it's like um, Batman when he throw up the sign in the in the sky at night. They throw up the sign so Batman can come. When they start screaming anti-Semite, that's like bat, That's like a bat signal for Nazis. That's to get the Nazis to start gathering around. You see. So anyway, that's all. I got.